AI agents have been the craze in the tech world recently, and one of the premier softwares to build these AI agents is NEN, apparently pronounced Nodemation. Are you looking for the perfect tutorial to start? If you search up NEA Beginner Tutorial on YouTube, this video by Nate Herkelman pops up with over 100,000 views. But is it really that good? Is it really perfect for beginners? I watched it so you don't have to, or maybe you'll want to after watching this review. Let's break it down right now. Before we dive in, have you tried NEN before? Share your experiences down in the comment section below. First off, this tutorial is designed for absolute beginners. Nice. It starts off with the basics of NEN, explaining what each node does and how each of them work. If you have never touched NEN before, this is a great starting point to get the fundamentals down. The tutorial covers all the key type of nodes, the trigger nodes, action nodes, transformation nodes, and logic nodes. I won't be going through what each of those nodes are in this video, but you can pause the next few frames to get a brief idea. So now, what does the tutorial do well? Here's what I loved about this tutorial. Firstly, it's beginner friendly. The pacing is perfect for someone who's just starting out. No jargon, no overwhelm just straightforward explanations with readable supplementary slides as well. Secondly, it utilizes a hands-on approach. The tutorial walks you through building your first workflow step by step. And by the end of the video, you'll have a working automation that you can actually test and implement into your own software, which is super satisfying if you ask me. It really shows you how quickly you can set up AI workflows using any and without any programming experience at all. So if you like no-code and low-code programs like me, this is the perfect tool for you. Lastly, it also has clear visuals and an extremely good pacing. The screen recordings are high quality and the instructor highlights exactly what you need to click or do so that you don't get lost in the process. There's no guesswork here and the pacing is not too fast so it's extremely easy for beginners like you and myself to follow without having to pause the video or having to rewind the video excessively. I know that's something that we all tend to do when watching those fast-paced tech tutorials but not for this tutorial. This tutorial is extremely well-paced so you can just follow along with it comfortably. Plus, this tutorial also covers more advanced concepts by touching on Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG and Embedding Vector Databases using Pinecon.io. These tools are used by professional industry standards as well, so it's a nice teaser for those who want to explore AI and machine learning integrations later on. However, nothing is ever perfect and it applies to this tutorial as well. So, this is where the tutorial falls short. Now, let's cover some of the not so great parts of this tutorial. Firstly, it has an outdated Google OAuth setup. Even though this tutorial was released quite recently, which should be around 4 months since the posting of this video, NEN did just update some functions, so some notes may appear different than in this tutorial. So a large gripe I had with this tutorial was the lack of instructions with the Google OAuth setup process as it wasn't up to date to this particular tutorial. This can be frustrating for beginners as you need to have some prior understanding of how Google OAuth works in order to set it up properly. I personally spent almost an hour trying to debug this issue and set Google OAuth credentials up. But thankfully, I've linked a more recent video in the YouTube video description so that you don't have to spend hours debugging this issue. This video right here, also by Nate Herkelman, perfectly guides you through how to set up Google OAuth in the Google Cloud and walks you through the exact steps to link it up with NEN. Another issue I have with this tutorial is that the tutorial isn't completely free because it utilizes OpenAI which can be a bummer if you're on a tight budget or if you're a frugal person like me who doesn't like to spend any money before you truly believe that the software will help you. So if you're like me, I also found some workarounds such as using Google's Gemini model instead of OpenAI's model or using NEN's free OpenAI credits as well. So do note that these can be quite limited however 
And if you're interested, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video utilizing Google's Gemini instead of OpenAI. So let's talk about some closing thoughts on this tutorial. Overall, I give this tutorial an exceptional 9.8 out of 10. It's short, sweet, and to the point, while still being crystal clear, making it perfect for beginners who want to dip their toes into any end without feeling overwhelmed. Hey, that's pretty good. The structure is clear, the explanations are easy to follow, and the hands-on approach is a big win. That said, it's definitely not what is flaws, especially the outdated Google OAuth setup. But if you're just starting out, this tutorial is a great resource to get you up and running. So, would I recommend this tutorial? Yes, 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 yes! Absolutely, if you're a beginner, it's one of the best introductions to any end out there, and it'll give you a solid foundation to build on. Just keep in mind that you may need to supplement it with additional resources. So what are you waiting for? If you like this video, go jumpstart your AI journey with this video over here. Or if you like to build mobile apps with no-code tools, check out this video over here. I'll see you in the next video.